Hello viewers and welcome to another tutorial by Happy Cloud Solutions. Today we'll be going through a step-by-step -step guide to install Ubuntu GUI version on Azure. Some of you may already be conversant on how to create a VM on Azure. And if you remember, when you create an Ubuntu VM on Azure, you are being presented with, you know, your some you know command line to enter into the vm vr maybe a cli or via your terminal or even using potty all right but in this case now we are going to create an ubuntu vm which we will be able to rdp into it okay and it will then present a gui so giving you know users who do not like to code a more friendly experience so let's get started to get started, I want to do everything from scratch so everyone can follow along. So we're going to start by creating a virtual machine. Okay, so let's do this. These are the basic steps. Give your machine a name. I like the region of your choice. I'm going to remove this because it's just for test. So I'm going to go with Ubuntu 20.04. So if you want other versions, you can select it here. You can also click on see all images to get more version of Ubuntu or you know other flavors of Linux. So today we're working with Ubuntu 20.04. I'll leave the size as this. And so for the public key, I'm going to generate a new one. I'm going to name it Ubuntu key, right? And then I'm gonna leave this as it is. Next, I'm just gonna select this one cause it's just for testing. So I'm gonna use the new default VNet that has just been created. Leave this as it is. For NSG, I'm gonna click on advanced and then this. Next, next, I'm gonna disable this because this is just for testing. Review plus create. Waiting for validation to be done. Okay, so create it. So now it's important that you download your private key before continuing with creating the VM because you are going to use this key when you wanna access the VM. So let's wait for the deployment to be done and we'll come right back to this. So now the VM is done deploying. So we go to the resource. All right, so we're in the resource. The next thing we wanna go to do is click on connect. Okay. Then you wanna click on more ways to connect and you see this remote desktop protocol. So we're gonna set this up. So right click and open this on a different tab. Okay, so this is what we're going to use. We're gonna use this command to set up, um, you know, to install the remote desktop server on our Ubuntu VM and then access the VM via RDP. So what I'm gonna do here is, I'm going to open up my terminal and I'm going to put this side by side so we can work easily with this. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is change directory into the folder that has the key pair that you just downloaded. Once you've done that, SSH into the VM using the key pair name and you know your username and IP address. Let's do that. Let me get the IP address. Okay, before we go there, so I call this Ubuntu key, Ubuntu key.pem. So I'll just come here. I can as well type this, but I can easily just copy this. And drop it here. Press enter, type yes, enter. 
and then it goes into your VM for you. So now you're into your inside your Ubuntu machine. So now next thing we want to do is come back here. We want to run through these commands. Okay. So we're going to start with sudo apt get updates to update our package to, to update our Ubuntu, you know, machine. All right. Let's do this. So while that is happening, I'm going to get the command to install the XFCE4. This usually takes some time, this particular command. So you're going to bear with it. It can take as long as 15 minutes to run. So I'm just going to pause the video and come back when it's done downloading. Hello, viewers. My name is Kachi. This is a short break just to urge and ask you to like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. This channel is used to bring educative videos that are relevant in the information technology world. We bring videos on web development, cloud computing, DevOps, and even artificial intelligence, AI. But the videos are not just limited to that. We also provide videos as they are relevant to the community. We ask that you support us through your likes and subscription. Thank you. I look forward to seeing you as part of our subscribers. Now, let's get back to business. So, we are done installing the XFCE4. The next thing we need to install the session manager. So, let's do that. Okay, that was faster. So now we want to install and configure a remote desktop server. So just going to copy this. Enter. And when that is done, you want to enable it. Okay. And now on Ubuntu 20, you need to give certificate access to an XRDP user, okay? And because you saw that we're using Ubuntu 20, we will also need to do this. So let's put this command and run. Okay. So next, we need to tell XRDP what desktop version environment to use when we start. So we're going to configure the RDB to use the XFCE as our desktop environment. So copy this, enter. And then let's restart. All right, so now the next thing we want to do is to set a local password. Because if you remember, we use SSH keys when we're creating these, we didn't use password. So now we have to create a password for the user. My user is Azure user. So like if you have named this, if you've named this something else, then you want to, re you need to replace this with your own name. So put this, give it the password. Okay. So now the next thing we need to do is we need to open port 3389, all right? So we can do this via, you know, the CLI here, or we can actually just go to the portal. So in the portal, click network settings. And then click create port rule inbound port through. So normally in a production environment, you don't want to leave source as any. Your source could be an IP address, an IP address that's more like, it could be like your own IP address. So this, it takes my IP address, or it can be a range of other IPs in your environment that you want, you know, to have access to this um, VM. It can also be like a particular address range for a VPN. So you ensure that only people on VPN can access this VM. But because it's test, I'm just going to leave it as any, any. Do RDP, leave everything as it is, enter, or add. 
Okay. So the security group has been created. You see here we have 3389 and 222. That's SSH. So now that it's done, let's go back here. So now we're going to connect to our VM using the remote desktop client. So to do that, I'm just going to click on remote desktop and get the IP of my computer of my VM. So this is it. Take this away. All right, connect. So I'm going to put a password. All right. So now you see that immediately you put the password, it's giving you the GUI version. This is now your Ubuntu machine, okay? So if you click on applications, you can see your terminal. So now you see this is Azure user Ubuntu VM. So in case you've been wondering, oh, I don't like using the CLI, I wanna you know, get, get to use more of a GUI, then this is the way for you to go. So let's, let's just try and run a normal command. So here, this is a simple, you know, Ubuntu command to update your package on your system. And you see it ran here successfully. So whatever you want to do, if you want to install an X server after, you can just do this. This is now your Ubuntu machine where you can work interactively. So I hope you've been able to follow through with, you know, this tutorial and you've been able to get a thing or two. All right. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have any comments, questions, you can just put them in the chat box or in the comment box and I'll respond to you as soon as possible. Also, please don't forget to like, subscribe and let us continue doing what we're doing.